Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to Red Lips Talk. I'm your girl, India. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the video. You already know what to do. Tap that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload videos, especially if you're liking my content. Don't forget to subscribe, join the family if you haven't already. Uh, share the video if you would like to, and let's go ahead and jump into uh, removing fragrances from the May rotation tray, and we're gonna add our June uh, fragrances for the month. But yeah, without further ado, Let's go ahead and get into it. So let's start off with fragrances that I've been wearing and my thoughts on them. We're not gonna make it long. We're just gonna give a brief um, summary of them. We'll just start off with this one. This one I wore yesterday. This is Escada Taj Sunset. Let me turn this music down. And yeah, so I wore this yesterday and it was absolutely gorgeous. You get that pineapple, that freshness in here. I was going to put it in the month of June again because it's getting extra hot. But I, I have another one that I'll, I'll be adding. So I won't be wearing this, but it's truly great. You don't get too much projection. Well, you get projection, but the sillage is not as long. Maybe about a couple of hours. But this is absolutely beautiful. Yes. So that's that one. Next, we will talk Sophia about Sophia Vergara. Actually, I haven't worn this one again. Um, I wore it when I went to the beach, but I haven't worn it since then. But this is a beautiful fragrance. I will not be adding it in my June tray. So that's Sophia Vergara Spicy Vanilla. Um, I haven't worn Dose Cabana. This, you all know that this is really good. You get that marshmallow note in here, that creaminess. It's just that feminine femininity scent right here, but I haven't picked it up. I don't think this will be in my June tray, so I'm going to put this out. But this is great for spring and summer. Dose Cabana. Garden, I absolutely love this. I believe I will add this into June. La Rive, Fleur de Femme, absolutely love this. I got a compliment. This is just absolutely beautiful. I I can wear this with so much stuff. Um, well, so many other fragrances. So this will be in my monthly June because I am falling in love with cherry almond and vanilla scent. So this will be back on my tray for the month of June. So de Chanera will also be on my tray. I did wear this. I also made a short video, so check that out. Love this sweet caramel, uh, nutty fragrance right here. Definitely gonna add this for the month of June because it's sweet and uh, it's great for summertime. Another one that I actually have not worn since I did the video, but I did talk about it, but I will add this for the month of June because it's getting more hot. This is La Nuit Trezor Nude. This will be on my monthly uh, rotate rotation for June. Um, yes, I am gorgeous, gorgeous, spicy, oriental, vanilla, just all that goodness in here. But I love this, but I will not be adding it back. So I can't, I'm gonna miss this, but I won't be adding it to June. Um, I haven't won. Yes, I have. I did wear this one. This is uh, Valentino Donna Aqua. This is discontinued. It's a almond. It's a summery almond fragrance and i have not worn it in a while but i did pick it up in the month of may um i'm not sure if i'm going to add in in the june rotation tray but if i do i'll you'll see let's just sit this to the maybe side heat i absolutely adore this it was great i may put it back on the tray or i may not i don't think i am because i have another one but this is i don't know i'm gonna put this on the maybe really really good orchid uh, patchouli sweetness in here and it definitely activates in the heat hence the name poison girl absolutely love it reminds me of this one it's just this doesn't have cherry in it I will not be adding this because i already have la Rive and i absolutely love it but i'm just going to push this to the side for later olympia oh gorgeous gorgeous i did wear this absolutely love it don't need to talk about it vanilla sandalwood Amber, I don't know. It's just amazing. So I won't be adding that because I've already worn it. I have yet to wear this one. So I believe I may put this on my monthly tray for June. Honey Bomb, a sophisticated honey. Um, absolutely gorgeous, but I just haven't worn it yet. Sometimes it can be a bit too mature for me. I did wear this one. This is Good Girl Eau de Parfum Supreme, or Supreme, however you want to say it, with the glitter texture. Absolutely gorgeous almond note creamy lactonic almond love this won't be adding it because it's getting hot and i don't think this is for hot appropriate weather unless you're going out at nighttime uh next we have mercedes benz pop edition absolutely gorgeous vanilla it's a fruity vanilla 
um, fruity, soapy, vanilla. I don't know. I, I may add this on there. Again, I'm just going to put this on the maybe side. I didn't wear this one either. This is Juicy Couture. This is a Gardenia Caramel Balm fragrance. Really musky in the dry down. I have yet to pick it up. I don't think I will be adding this one to my monthly June rotation tray, so I'm going to put this to the side. Now, the one that I will add, I actually wore this yesterday, and it was absolutely gorgeous. It's just so light. And this is Royal Hollywood. As you can see, I have a nice size dent in it. So I'm going to try to use this up. So I'm going to put this, or I may put this in the monthly June rotation. So I'm going to put this right here. I actually wore this to bed today. I came home from work, took a nice shower. I pampered myself and I want to smell delectable. Pink sugar was it. Check out my short video I just posted today on pink sugar. Basically, the series was based upon this one right here, Body Ecology Pink Vanilla Wish. And I was pairing it this with um, um different vanilla scents and yeah check out my short videos on this but i wore this to bed this is absolutely gorgeous i think i'm finding well becoming a lot more confident to wear this i may or may not add this on the tray yeah it, it is sweet it's gorgeous i may add this back just just maybe as a night scent i don't know maybe it's beyonce okay guys so i do have manifesto and these are absolutely similar this bergamot okay on the beginning on, on the initial spray you get that synthetic bergamot note and but it dissipates really easily and then you're left with the bergamot but it's less synthetic so it's more of a green vanilla note this is beautiful absolutely gorgeous and it does remind me in that dry down it reminds me of this one but this one's a lot more warmer and skin like where this one i believe will protrude a lot more in the springtime so i may add this back on the tray um, it didn't last too long though, so I really probably would probably pair these two or just wear this one. But yeah, this is way cheaper and yeah, you should try this out if you want to try Manifesto because they are very similar, okay? Not sure if I'm going to add it, so I'm just going to put it on the maybe. I have a lot of maybe fragrances, okay? A lot of them. Um, I have, sorry, I haven't worn this one. This is Hugo Boss. Boss. Well, it's called Boss from Hugo Boss. Sandalwood, sweet, creamy, sandy vibe, beach beach vibe type of fragrance. I absolutely adore this. It's an eau de toilette. It doesn't last too long. Um, but when I'm smelling, it just makes me want to add it back on the tray because I'm just, I've been wanting vanilla scents. And I think this will be the perfect, one of the perfect vanilla scents for the, uh, the heat to come. So I may put this back on the tray too. Lastly, we have Le Femme Eau de Parfum from Artemoth. This is a gorgeous fruity fruit bowl vanilla scent, I believe. Yeah, it's like a creamy, mm, not really like tonic. It's just a creamy fruit bowl with some yogurt on top. Like, yeah, that's it. And um, I thought I didn't like the packaging, but I actually like it. I think it's actually nice. It's like, look like rich vibes or something like that. So. Um, I was going to take it off, but I ended up keeping it, and I'm glad that I did. So, yeah, this may, I think this may be back on a tray because this is different. It's, this has grown a lot on me, and I did wear this. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and talk about what's going to be on the tray for the month of June. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down, and I'm also going to be wiping down my fragrances so it can look print, fingerprint free, okay? All right, so I'm going to be wiping it down, getting all this dust and stuff off. What that is, let's get that off there. So in this monthly tray, rotation tray for the month of June, I also will be adding body fragrance mist um, in my collection. This is just something I want to do. I don't really see a lot of people do this, but I, I am a type of person that loves to layer my fragrances. So I will be adding body mist, but we're going to go ahead and jump into what I will be adding in the month of June. So let's go ahead and start with the ODs. I'm going to be wiping them off. So again, I will be adding La Rive Fleur de Femme and I have this on my hand right now mixed with Banana Republic, Dark Amber, no, Dark Cherry Amber, which I can't wear this by itself. I just, I don't know, it's something about it. It's just too cherry. I don't know, it's, that's weird because I want cherry scents, but I just can't wear this by itself. But when you pair these two right here, it is like the Eau de Parfum of Dior. So try this out. I'm putting this on my tray because... I'm going to wear this because of this. All right. Another almond cherry one that I have. I'm actually almost done with this. I have another one actually coming in the mail, and I'm so excited. But this is Guest Seductive Red 
this is sexy it's cherry almond seductive try it out if you got it, it i think you should just get this in general it's like a candied uh cherry candied almond sweet seductive sexy scent i don't know try it out it also reminds me of um ariana grande just with a cherry note so these right here combined absolutely amazing okay next i'll be adding this concoction which i have on today this is my scent choice of the day this is a dupe to dulce cabana light blue um pour femme and this is by who's this by this is called Halloween Blue Drop. This is like $23. It is an exact dupe. Smells, you get that lemon zesty sweetness from it, but I just can't seem to wear this by itself. I am not the type of person that love these scents by itself. So I had, I actually went on a website and I came up with the idea to pair it with, are you ready? I don't have Baccarat Rouge. This is like a Baccarat Rouge thing, but um, I do have Al Harmain Amber Oud Rouge try these two and i promise you you will thank me later it's absolutely gorgeous my husband loves it i fell in love with it i didn't think that it would work but i promise you this is a 2020 20 out of 20 recommended that's all i gotta say you get that that light blue citrusy i'm sorry that uh lemon citrus orange vibe along with the sweetness from baccarat rouge it it's a genius it's a genius so try that out i promise you you will not go wrong okay next i'm going to add Rihanna Rep Fleur. Okay, this is big. I have yet to wear, I don't wear this a lot, but I do absolutely love it. This will be one of my top 10 celebrities for life or one that just in general that I would have on my arsenal because this is gorgeous. I plan to wear this with some of the, with a body mist. So maybe something like Sol de Janeiro, maybe Anita, or I may pair it with the original uh, Brazilian Crush Charosa 62 which would be absolutely gorgeous together. Or I can go back to pairing it with Bath & Body Works Coconut Cream Pie. This is gorgeous with it. I've worn that before with the, I've worn Red Fleur with this and it is so good. It made me fall more in love with this one. So that's why I'll be adding it so I can have more fun this month. Next, I'm going to be adding Kenzo Flower. As you can see, I have a big dent and a huge dent in it. Absolutely love this fragrance. It is so beautiful. Perfect for spring and summer, all year round appropriate. It actually gives me the elixir vibe, but it's just more powdery. Less not typically in, into powdery musky notes, but this is gorgeous and it still has that sweetness. You can still pair it with more vanilla to bring it out. You just have to find the right one, but this will be in my tray because I actually wore this the other day and it wasn't on my tray. I was like, I need to put this on my tray. So here we are. So I'm gonna be maneuvering a lot this is in no particular order. Okay, next we're going to add, this is the one I was saying, it has that pineapple note. So this one reminds me of the Escada, the one I just took off. Where is it at? Hold on. Anyway, it reminds me of the Escada one, but I'm going to wear this one this month. Sweet. It also reminds me of Britney Spears' Midnight Fantasy, but without all that plumness in it. I don't know. It's something about Midnight Fantasy I just can't seem to wear. I don't know if the iris is too strong or the plum and the iris, but this reminds me of it, but it just has more of the sweetness, which I really love. So I'm happy to um, have this. This is Pepe Jean's Cocktail EDT. Next we have, I'm going to go back and add Charosa. 62 the eau de parfum because it is truly amazing you can't go wrong with this so i'm going to add that to the tray since we are already on fragrances from last month i'm going to go back and add dulce gabbana garden absolutely love this sandalwood you get that garden synthetic note but it's so gorgeous at the same time so this is beautiful adding that back um i'm going to add viva la juicy Hollywood Royal because of that marshmallow note and that freshness. Love this scent. Doesn't last too long, but if you overspray, you will uh, you'll love it. I love this scent, so I have to add it back because it'll be great for um, running errands and smelling sweet and fresh. Uh, next, we're going to add La Vie Es Belle, the original. I have to add this because it is absolutely amazing. I don't grab this a lot. 
people actually compare this one to Bodycology, which is going to be on my body mist for the month of uh, June as well. People compare La Vie is Belle to Pink Vanilla Wish. I just picked this up this morning, literally. This is one of the best body vanilla fragrances I have, and I think it's perfect for summertime. It has sparkling pink, peonies, warm vanilla, and almond. Go try this, guys. Is that Walmart? I think I'm going to go get some more. I absolutely love this more than the whipped vanilla spray, which I have. I just don't have it in front of me. But yeah, this is going to be in my tray. And I already have a dent, as you can see. I already have a dent. So yeah, they say these two are comparable. But yeah, this has a lot more. It has patchouli in it. And this has almond. So I don't know where they get that from. But I guess I can see the similar similarities a little bit. But yeah, maybe I'll try to pair that. I know well, with Intense Mint, this is gorgeous with um, Lancome Intense Mint. But I decided to put this one on the tray. Okay, next we have this vanilla. This wasn't on my tray last month, but I did wear it because I got this from Amazon. It's only like $20. As you can see, I have a big dent in this. I absolutely love this. When I first got it, I was underwhelmed. I was like, eh, it's okay. I was like, what? But trust me, that dry down. It's so skin-like and it lasts for hours to be an EDT. Uh, the little girl's a little, you know what I'm saying? She look a little serious. I'm just going to say she looks serious. But it's also vintage and I like that. But um, I, like, I think I want the other picture back. <laughs> but this is good juice. Definitely recommend it. This is by Altremer. This is vanilla. Absolutely love it. And I actually got compliments from people like men and women on this one. You never go wrong with the simple fragrances. So I'm putting that on my tray. And it was hot that day. Next, I'm going to add Ariana Grande Cloud, the original. I have the Intense as well, but I'm going to add this one because it's the original and I haven't given it love. This was the first fragrance in my arsenal. Coconut, Baccarat Rouge Vibe, people talk about, um, but mostly has that coconut too. So I love this scent. So that's going on the tray. I also will be adding YSL Manifesto. I already talked about this one. This is by Yves Saint Laurent. I told you it's comparable to Rise by Beyonce. So yeah, that's that. I don't know if I'm going to add this back, but no, I'm not. Next, I'm going to add... I'm going to go ahead and add this back on here because this will be great for the summertime. Sweet, fruity, yogurt, creamy vibe right here. That's all I can say about this one. This will be in back. I have a few more fragrances and I'll be done. As you can see, most of these are like really, really sweet. I want to smell sweet this summer. That's just how I feel today. And I'm going to be adding Swiss Arabian Casablanca. Caramel Apple. Can't wait to wear this. I have not worn this at all. Like I tried it and that's it, but I need to wear it and give it more love. So I will be adding that. I'm going to add these three, but these are my most expensive ones that I just purchased. But this is Queen. Actually, Queen... Guys, this is a dupe. This is duping Burberry Her. Yes, same exact nose, smells just like it. Not the intense version, because I didn't like the intense version. I, I purchased the intense version twice and I returned it twice. But um, I do prefer the original over the intense. And this is a, it smells very similar to it. I'm pretty sure this probably lasts longer and it's a bit more deeper. So if you're interested in getting Burberry Her, check out Filthy Rich Dubai Queen. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to add that. Then I'm also going to add Filthy Rich Royal Stag 2. This is comparable to Juicy, Viva La Juicy. And, but this one lasts a lot longer and it's more deeper and sensual with that dry down of caramel and praline. And lastly, I did say I wanted to add this back on the tray and I will because I absolutely love this. Boss by Hugo Boss, absolutely gorgeous. I don't think I'm going to add this one back on there. If I do, I may talk about if I use it or not. But I will add this one right here. Let me clean it off because I'll just be touching all my fragrances. And this is Girl of Now. Ely Saab, you get that syrupy sweetness that will also be great for the summertime. Well, I don't know, but I'm going to test it out for the summertime. I don't know if it will be good, but I'm going to test it. Let me see if I can fit this in. As you can see, this is a lot of big bottles in here. So I'm going to have to rearrange. <laughs> Let's see. I try to do like a color theme. Uh oh, 
And we can go from the top. Let's do like a color theme. So we kind of got like the blacks back here. Put that back here. We're going to get like the clear bottles back here. And put that in front of it. And then we're going to put this one in front of that one. Oh, I am going to go back and add pink sugar. This is gorgeous. I wore red velvet today and it was actually good. So yeah, but I'm going to add this one. Now we can go add the blues. Then we'll put the big one back here. Keep the red open. Let me go back and put this right here. Put this right here. Put the main girl in front. I'm just kidding. Put this over here. All the reds in the back. And then we have this one. We'll put that right here. This one over here. And then we'll go ahead and add this one. Of course, we have our body mist. That will not be on my tray, but these are the ones that I know I'll be wearing as well. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Forgot about this one. But this one will be on my tray as well. Lancome Nude. Let's see if I can take that in. I have to do it like this. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Sometimes it's kind of hard to organize it on the tray but yeah so these will be my body mist that i also will be using and pairing to spice up my fragrances more and i will be adding frosted coconut snowball which is really similar to lancome nude so these will be perfect together i'm going to add this as well this is at the beach by bath and body works absolutely gorgeous i love to pair this with a lot of fragrances like this will great go really well with this to bring out that sandy beach vibe It'll also go well with this to tone down all that extra sweetness, I believe. I don't even know. I don't test it, but I have that thought in my head. So, and then it also probably go with this and make it a lot more like coconut, make this a coconut vibe. So don't be afraid to mix up your little um, fragrances, child. And that's all that I have, guys. The rest, I'm not going to add back on here. I'll wear those another time. Love this one. Do I want to add it? I may put this up here. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can fit it in. If I can't fit it in, then I'm going to take it off. <laughs> Boom. And that's it. There you have it, guys. This is my monthly rotation tray for the month of June. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And also, these are my body mists that I will be pairing with some of these beautiful fragrances. Hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. See you soon. Bye.